Hello everyone, welcome back to some more of No Straight Roads. Last time, <clears throat> we explored around the new Natura district, district and we also fought against um, the boy band group 1010 where, yeah, things obviously didn't end well. <laughs> um, after that, we kind of, we fought against DK West, I think. Oh, we fought against DK West before that. And then after the fight against 1010, we explored the new district. Um, Metro City, I think it's called. And yeah, I got a lot of thing. Well, I got, I got a lot of things done, but I didn't get I didn't get the one thing I needed done. But eh, whatever. We can still I can still do that after this. So yeah. Anyways, um, I was able to get all the figurines, so we can go over them in the in this save file. So yeah. First off, um, the. Figurines are ten cents collectibles. There are about three of them, and they kind of show a nice kind of progress of, um, let's see, by J1. I think Neon J is the um, maker of t the creator of ten ten, but yeah. So master musician figure. So he used to build figures, I guess, and then after the wartime happened, could no longer be imported because of the border walls. J1 made figures from scratch. Yes. So he still made figures during his time as an officer. And then soon after the war, he started making figurines of the actual, you know what I mean? So you, can, you kind of see how they rise to pat fame. Matter of fact, that's, that's, that's the same thing for all these now that I think about it. Like you, like you see DJ Subatomic Supernova going from uh, prof, uh, Professor that no one listened to to a musician based around his passion for space um, We see some Sayu going from just a simple doodle by some kid in high school to a passion project made by a group of kids um, Even you going from just something she did with her father to a whole thing so It's crazy how you like when you when you like take it all in Anyways, this time we will be going up against Eve, uh, Zook's old bandmate. She's, well, eccentric is a massive understatement, but yeah, her style of music essentially combines art and music, so, meh, pretty good. Let's see, alright, her, her battle has a weird gimmick as well, so we kind of have to be wary of that. In other news, as I as I said before, I did what I would I was going out grinding for stuff. Uh, we now have over fifty something fan over fifty thousand fans, so we can now once we once I get the amount of stuff after, once I get the amount of fans after this, we can actually purchase level three transformables. Beyond that, I took to upgrading characters a bit more. Mayday now has a third finisher. Um, and let's see. Ah, this. Her max ammo is now increased to 12. She gains health whenever she uses a ranged hit, and her what I think is her best skill, and what, and what I think is her best skill, she has increased damage when she has max number of ammo. In other words, when she, if she has 12 ammo, then the next shots, whether it be one shot to the, her whole a whole salvo of the rest of her ammo, will have increased damage. So yeah, essentially. And if you look at the rest of the skills, we see like that now hold down that for longer excuse more damaging finishers like she's gone from our main attacker to I wouldn't say a tank, but actually no, I would say a tank actually in all in all, in all senses except for defense instead of having a high defense she actually um, She has powerful finishers that are a bit slow, but her main skill is ranged attacks from far away so that's nice. Plus the transformation just give you energy for stuff. Zook on the other hand has changed slightly as well. Um, we extended his melee combo to 7 hits instead of just the 5 I think. Um, and we also, I also made it so that parries now restore his health and deal double damage. So we're going to be pairing with him a lot more hopefully. Um, I didn't upgrade much on the transform path because I didn't. I, I wanted to focus on other stuff early on. Um, but yeah, 
I kind of wanted to upgrade Zook a bit more, but I think this is fine. Mayday, Mayday, I use Mayday the most, so she kind of deserves the upgrades a lot more. Alright, so, I guess with that being said, let's just kind of create some stuff. Also, something I forgot, uh, in our last DK West fight, we got another uh, ultimate duet, Healing Boogaloo, essentially heals both characters to full health. I'm probably just going to use that instead of Shadow Dancer, because I barely use ultimate duets anyway, so I figure, my bother, right? As for mods... Uh... I don't know. More Than One Transformer is... good, but it's a bit harder to use just because... Uh, it takes two energy bars. Which takes, uh, which at least for right now, takes a lot longer to, you know what I mean, create. And more than one transformer is really good if you're like far away. So, missile launch is probably what I need. Uh, I think I'll keep arpeggio assault, but for showing purposes, we get tense and shield. Essentially, um, gets a shield, and the durations increase when on a higher drum combo. Huh? I could have sworn before that the amount of shielding you get was based on um, the amount of ammo you have. Oh well. Anyways. Uh, I think I'll keep Arpeggio Assault just because it's kind of better. Uh, beyond that, I think that's about it. Um, for... Huh. For this fight, we'll need a few more things. Movement speed is a guarantee. It's like something we really and truly need. So, let's find it. Uh, I will more than likely be playing as Zook in this one, so let's give him more movement speed. No, actually no. Mayday gets movement speed. And I will tell you why in a moment. Zook, because his, par Zook, because his parrying is good, gets parry damage boost. And... Both of them need a melee attack boost as well. And you will see why in a moment. So... Ah... Uh, movement speed 2. And I guess let's do special move up. Because she'll need the extra health gain. Alright. Let's head on out to... Metro Division District. DK West doesn't spawn in, I don't think. Mostly, I don't think, you know, he doesn't spawn in until, like, the fight just before Tatiana, so literally right after this. So, yeah, good. Well, I think that was the most successful intro ever, literally. Because I was able to explain everything I need to. I mean, sure, I stuttered a bit, but, eh, should be fine. You know, I really need to go back and watch some of my older videos to see how, like... I guess how I was, because I don't I don't really remember that much. Like when I go back and watch them, it feels like someone else recorded them. So, eh. anyways, um, don't think there's much new stuff here, because we can't access those for now until we get level three. Uh. No. I think we'll just have to move on ahead, because... Oh wait, yeah, I forgot to show Ten Ten's commercial. You can't actually find these on YouTube, but... Well, I think it's nice that they show them in the actual game. Yeah, it's your typical stuff. Um... Oh, wow. Oh, they spawned from... Okay, so these... I, guess, I wouldn't say they spawned, but they used the same models from the... What's it called? Navy models. I did not know that. Okay. You can find out so much about like the character just from looking around and stuff. So I, I think that's really nice. Anyways. Uh, I guess let's just move on forward. Oh. Hey, yeah, tough kid. He's here. Where's your little cape? I saw how you guys beat those robots and take down that huge battleship. All with the power of rock. Yeah, couldn't have said it better. With the power of rock. After seeing that, 
I thought. I would like to be a rock star like you too. What about the Air Force? There's no Air Force. Yeah, so I would like, what do you think? Well, it's no walk in the park despite how glamorous it may seem, but why not? Everyone has a right to pursue their interest in music. Woohoo! Do us a new dream, boys! Hmm. All right. What, a hundred? Well, I have 21. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, a street siren. Okay. All right. Uh, all right, I guess let's just jump down and do this. So, anyways, you guys know the deal already. Um, actually, let me jump down first because we never know if there's anything to like see or whatever. If not, then you guys know the deal already. Just gonna cut off. Just gonna cut off. Cut off the recording, then start it again. Yeah. Okay. So it's this area. I keep forgetting it. Oh well. Let's look around a little. Uh. Ooh. Yeah. As you can see, Eve is mostly art themed. So. Yeah. Um. This is a big area. Wow. A dancing statue. Okay. Actually, let's go to let's go to um, Zoop because he, he in this in in Eve's area she he has more um stuff. Huh. Oh. Let's collect more of bees. People of Vinyl City, this is Tatiana. I plead for everyone to not work your way in the dark. Switch on your headlights. Ah, oh, Red Decks, okay. Back in my days, we'd go all out for music. It's not a performance if it isn't the best performance. No errors and no regrets. This device seems to be to use a mixture of sand and kinetic osmosis to filter out drinking water. Huh. That is actually nice. Okay. Oh wow, oh wow, look at this one. So much color and whatever. You know, actually before I started, I always liked Eve's design. On especially like these this kind of thing where it's like one's one color, another's another color. I should literally try coloring an image like that. Celine. I don't think I've ever seen you. My coat? Gorgeous, right? It's a limited edition release from a collaboration with Eve. Her designs are absolutely stunning. Uh, isn't your coat supposed to go onto your shoulder? Whatever. But as I was saying, I do like this kind of aesthetic where it's like this. I should try coloring an image, um, kind of in this style. Alright, uh, enough chatter. I think it's time we actually get into things a good bit. Unless there's, I think there was something over here? Or was that her, um, that's her actual district, okay. Oh well. Oh, yes, these two again. Interesting that they use music in this way. What is this? Oh, a broken heart. Whoa, looks oddly familiar. Hang on, looks like something even I made back in college. Except this one has is a broken heart. Oh. Yeah. I guess they were more than just bandmates, technically, huh? Oh. Well. Oh, wait, there was one more. Oh, thought he was an actual NPC. Alright. Let's move on to the actual um, district break in. No? I would totally hide a sticker here, because whatever. Because players wouldn't go there. <sighs> Anyways, it's time we hijack this. And yeah. So I'm going to cut things out here until we actually get to the um, artists themselves. You know the deal. Let's go. Oh, actually, hold on a second. Ooh. 
I like this. I've always been a fan of color and art, so this looks really nice. <clears throat> okay, wow. Uh, I might just see if I can use this as a thumbnail or something. <clears throat> All right, though. Anyways, cutting this out now, and if I see any more important stuff, I'll just, what's it called, turn it back on, you know? Oh, wow. Again, I've been going through this, I'm, I'm literally like a few seconds past, um, past where I was earlier. And if you like see, this place is basically an art gallery. Really nice to see. Yeah, look at this, the area keeps changing. Alright. Anyways. This does look really nice. Oh, wow. And then white. Yeah? Okay. Sorry, I don't want this to be just me gawking all over the thing, so... Meh. Anyways. Oh. Okay. Sorry, um... There wasn't... There was not an album cover or anything. There was just a big door. There was, like... As I was going through, it was, like... There was, like, a huge door or something like that with, like... A hands in a triangle, so... I didn't, I didn't know whether or not it was, um, if this was the album door or whatever, so, whatever, at least I caught it in time. Anyways, uh, let's keep going. Why, hello, Zook. Hello? Eve? Where are you? Take a seat, Zook. Take a seat? Oh, right. Remember this chair? Or has it fled past the walls of your memories? Not that I would be surprised if it has. A chair by design is never made to hold such sentimental values. This chair was once yours, Zook, but you threw it away. Eve, I... Shh, 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 shh. All is fine. You are forgiven. Now, lay yourself upon this vessel and accept my gift. Feel the sands of time flow through your body as you once had. <clears throat> yeah, uh, seems like the chair is pretty occupied with Tatiana right now. She embraces me for who I am. I love her, but a chair without a sitter is left with no purpose to exist. Hey, Zook, you can see her? Where is she? She's right there. Where? Uh, uh, uh. Just as I thought, you share none of Zook's artistic perception. Girl, do you not see Tatiana holding the backrest to her bosoms? Hello? Do you not get what it is meant to represent? Uh, no. Ah, Zook, why must you pick such a... Pedestrian girl, you... Zook, remember college? Remember when I was the tectonic plates and you were the sea? The heat we channeled when your waves broke upon my earth was euphoric. We were untouchable. Do you not miss those times? Do you not yearn for that feeling again? Instead, you left me for this... this girl? Have you dropped your standards? Hey! That is sad. So, so sad. But you are here now. You are in front of me. We can save each other as today we celebrate your redemption, Zook. So, open your mind. Sink into my gaze and let yourself be reborn again. So yeah, when Cliff said her well, when, when the briefing said her this her this instrument was shows is a mistake. She is fire. Fire and sea do not mix. Hey, the name's Mayday, okay? That's what I was saying. When Cliff said um. The, the her instrument of choice was the body and mind. Well, 
he wasn't actually jo he wasn't exactly joking, as we'll soon see. I feel an immense energy between you and pedestrian girl. She does not deserve this. She does not deserve any of this. If I cannot have you, Zoo, then neither can she. Yeah, what? what? All right. What's going on here? Zoop, where are you? I'm still here, May. Don't panic. She's done this before. We just need to keep playing as we were. Okay, so. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, before the music kicks in, <clears throat> I should probably explain, explain Eve's gimmick for anyone who's having trouble. Essentially, Eve's gimmick is that she splits uh, Mady and Zook up, and whenever we switch to them, we go to a completely different world, where different rules apply, yeah. <clears throat> Essentially, Eve will go between pink to pink and white worlds, and we have to essentially switch uh, between worlds to hit her. So when she's not in Zook's world, she's in Mayday's, and vice versa. So, yeah. And oh yeah, another thing you um, you'll probably notice is that look how Zook's world is noticeably calm. Now if we switch back to Mayday, yeah, there's a lot of chaos, a lot of attacks and whatnot. So yeah, Zook's room is slightly easier, so I kind of want to be him a bit more often. Oh yes, and a lot of her I, I can't I can't I can't explain how to dodge a lot of her attacks, but. Essentially, a lot of our attacks in, um, involve just either plain dodging them, parrying them, or like this attack right here that was very annoying to me um, when I first did this fight, and especially in the in the harder modes of this fight too. Um, it's like her eyes; those eyes in the back shoot these beams, and if you move at all, you get damaged. I think if you're falling, you're fine, but if you like, if you're I think if you're in the air, then you're fine. If you if if you touch a button on your controller, then you take damage, basically. Anyways, we used to burn countless worlds together. Remember Rapturica? Oh yeah. You set my hair on fire. Are you upset about that? Well, I mean, I'd be pretty upset if you light my hair on fire, like. Uh, Zook's transformations are kind of useless here, because it's literally just, um... What? Is she... Did... Let's play the beat. Two, three, three. Alright, let's dodge all these and head into the next phase, shall we? What? No. No, no, no! How can your links be ever so strong? Unless. Unless the two of you formed your bond through mutual hate? Your hatred for me? I. You are one of them, Zook! You fear me! <laughs> As you should, for no one escapes the Diva's realm! Oh, wow. Alright, same rules apply as before. Just different, just different attacks, new ones are added. To Zook's realm, I think. Where is she? Oh. Ugh. Oh, well, that was rather easy. 
I thought that'd be harder. Luke, I think I see oh, well. at the other end of the tunnel. I do too. Let's move. All right. Same as before. Both character control the same. You were nothing before you met me. I handpicked you. All did you did you into the man you are today. You really think you can reach this level of brilliance all by yourself? Ha! I made you. And the greatest thing you ever accomplished in your life was to get me to notice you. are just intimidated by my talent. All of you are cowards! Always... <laughs> there is no one. Not even him. None in this world to weave their senses with mine. I should go talk to her. <sighs> go. Should I continue to entertain this void? So much to do, yet nowhere to go. I do not belong here. Eve, please! The earth, sea, fire, all for naught. Please, listen. It is over. It is over, it is over, it is over. It is over, it is over. It is over. Eve. Stars, they are so beautiful. I will close my eyes now. Goodbye. Sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be the person you wanted me to be. When we first met, you immediately saw potential in me. I gave you hope that perhaps I could eventually see the world as you did. But I'm not like you. I wish I was, but I'm not. But if we just try again... Eve, please. I was... A coward for running away. I know that now. But seeing you today reminded me of how alive you can truly be when you're performing your craft. I know how terrifying it must be to face the possibility that you might never meet another like-minded person in this world. But you're better than that. You don't need anybody else to complete you. You complete yourself. It is not comfortable to hear this. I do not think I am strong enough to... You have always been stronger than me. If anyone can do it, it's you, Nadia. Well, I have to go now. Take care.
Mayday is not pedestrian, by the way. If you know her as I do, I think you'll like her too. Thanks, buddy. All right. Well, I kind of wish that was kind of fleshed out a bit more. I mean, all we get about their relationship is literally just the fight and all that stuff leading up to it. You know what I mean? Plus, I mean, there, of course, there's um, there's what DK West said when he talked about Nadia, but eh. Anyways, um, the newest super moves, two-sided mayday and burning hair faction. Burning hair faction is literally, um, an attack for Zook. I think that lays out a fire trap for a little. And two-sided mayday just, is just mayday putting on a Zook max, mask and making Zook take damage for her. So, yeah, it's not really, you know, I mean, it's not really anything too massive it's literally just you know i would never use those supers well I've, I've used burning hair fashion like when, when i first got it to see what it did but yeah anyways we're at the top the only person standing above us is tatiana herself uh we'll do we're gonna have to do a few things before we do that though i want the final to be its own episode so I guess what we'll do is we will do the DK West fight and then save everything for like the finale because I know the finale is a bit long. Alright, so before anything, I'm actually not going to buy anything because I do want to save up to get level 3 transformations. As we are now, I do think we could fight Tatiana easily. So, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I think it would be rather easy to fight Tatiana. Let us... Go to the pirate radio. Ba, ba, bam! Get ready to jam here at Sam FM. Back here with us are the spectacular duo of Bunk Bed Junction. Two who need no further introductions: Mayday and Zook. Hello, Vinyl City. Without further ado, let's have the first caller. Hello. Huh? Uh, Hello. That name. What? Hello, Mayday. <gasps> Isn't that... You! Tatiana! Ah. Uh, you... You've been listening all this while? Yeah? But of course. You didn't think I'd miss out on the latest news of my favorite donor, did you? <laughs> so you've been spying on us? Mm, I would say I'm merely keeping up with Vinyl City's hot indie door. But it's good that you've called. Know that we're coming to take you down. It's over for no straight roads. How optimistic of you to say so. You've barely reached the NSR Tower. However, thank you for the heads up. I'll be waiting. And that was Tatiana, folks. So, Mayday and Zook, considering your next showdown to be with Tatiana, how do you feel about making it so far? Any regrets? Uh, well, I think I'm. I think we're good enough, cause it's certainly been a long journey, and I'm only pumped to finish this off properly. Yeah. We're gonna rock onwards with all that we've got. No looking back. What's done is done. We can only make a difference by our next actions. We definitely look forward to that. Since you'll be battling the big boss herself, in the case that touch wood, you don't make it out. Is there anything you'd like to say to your fans? I certainly hope we'd make it out with a blast. But I'd like to thank everyone for being with us so far. It's been great to know that we're not alone in our battle. We love you! And remember, music is your right. Even if we're, uh, uh, no longer around, your right is still yours. Don't let it be taken without a fight. Well said. And it saddens me to say that it seems like time's up for today. All the best, Bunk Bed Junction. We certainly hope to have you back at Sam 
FM to bam and slam in the future. Don't worry, we'll be back. But definitely be nice to be back. All right. That was actually pretty scary though. Seeing literally the final boss just call you up like, hey guys, I've been listening to every like. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go over the briefing. You've both made it so far. I knew it from the start. I'm proud of what you've done. Bunk Bed Junction has the power to return the rights of Vinyl City's artists to them. Right. Just a bit more to go. Only one more to go, in fact. The last pillar of NSI. Tatiana. Easy peasy. She doesn't even play music. That does seem to be the general impression. But she does. In her own way. Huh? What do you mean? You'll know when you face her head on. Anyway, on to business. Tatiana may seem unbeatable at first glance, but I happen to know her greatest weakness, her past. If you come across fragments of her memories, I would suggest using them against her. That's the only way you can beat her. Use her own past against her? Yes, you get it. You'll do well. It all comes down to this, fellas. Beat Tatiana, and victory is ours. Okay, this is it, cool Fyra. Thought you should know that we are close to bringing down NSR. I wish you were here with us now. I wish you could see that some of us still care about your legacy. <clears throat> I'll be heading out first. See you guys at the NSR Tower. Tonight, we're bringing your music back. Long live rock, cool Fyra. Long live rock. All right. Let's move. Uh, okay. Let's just leave, because we do have the DK West fight to do. And if we have any time after that, uh, we can explore Eve's district. If not, we can just do that in the final, I guess. I might just... I might just show you guys the district. Just a quick overview of it. Just to quickly do it. Just because... You know what I mean? We're like 37 minutes in, so... Yeah. Anyways. Actually, you know what? Why don't I just do that, actually, now? Yes. Why don't I just... Head, why don't I just show you guys the district, then go to DK West and like finish it off there. That is a good idea. So that is what I will do. Alright. So we still got a hefty amount of time left. So shouldn't be too much to worry about. Um, alright. Metro Division, let's, let's plug in... Um, Eve's Platinum Disc, if the game will load up. There we go, okay. And yeah, just a short little bit into, just a short while into, um, Tatiana's Tower. Yes, sir. Dream Fever. Ah, uh, yes. As you can see, this place is mostly... Uh, okay. Anyways, yes, this this is the last district. There's not, there's no more after this. Um... And it's our tower. Yeah, just head up front there to the tower when we're ready. Who is this? Hey, did you hear about the at Eve's gallery the other day? Were you there? I just hope that it doesn't affect the release of our upcoming bag collection. Yeah. Right. Uh, so yeah, as, as, this place is like an art gallery as well now that you think about it. A bejeweled hand clock. Okay. Hmm. Oh well. 
Was there something here to fix? I thought there was. Oh well. What is this? A field of selfie sticks. Do you have any meaning? How the world perceives itself. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Right, let's head over here. I'm pretty sure these open up though. Oh, I guess we have to pay to open. Just like a real museum, haha. <laughs> Now we'll let's collect all these. Sorry, um... <laughs> allergies. It's spring now, so... Well, uh, you know how it goes already. Oh. Oh, this is... Oh, <laughs> I thought this was actual art or something. Alright though, uh, alright, so I guess let's just do DK West and kind of just finish things off in a sense. I think this gallery is literally just paintings of the same kind of paintings we saw in her old one. Alright, and I guess there's stuff if you climb up here. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. Oh well. Anyways. Uh, I think that's enough exploring. It's just like an art gallery place or whatever. I might run around here more next episode, but yeah. Uh, anyways, um, let's head on over to DK West for his final fight. Alright, a good 20 minutes left. The man himself is here. Let's finish this, shall we? I'm done with your games, West. You no longer listen to reason, you act like we're still in secondary school, and- Bizuk, Dingo. Akujupa? Ini. <laughs> Whoa. Is that my old tape recorder? You fixed it? Yeah! Skarang dengan me. Promise you'll never ever play this again? Okay. I'm a little zonky. Ha 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 I cannot! Cannot we! Oh no! Oh, Zook! Kau betul kelaka! Stop it! Alangkah gemilang ni masa tu, Zook! Dulu aku main tape ni kat semua orang! Sepanjang masa! Promise you'll never ever play this again? Okay. I said stop it! Kau cakap kau dah buang tape bodoh tu! Penipu besar! You see, May? You see what I have to deal with? Then let me deal with him! How about that, Mr. Big Brother? This time, you and me, rap battle, yo! Huh? Oh, yo! Hey, Zook! Yang ni dia, oh my kehebatan aku! Tak macam awet kau dulu. Aku suka dia ni, Zu. Well, Missy, aku sedia terima cabaranmu. Tiba masa untuk... i i i i Woo! Rap battle! Woi! Alright. Hey, hey! Let's do this. Hey, matey! How you doing today? <laughs> if you want the real deal, don't pick someone who steals. You want to pick a winner? Instead, trust me, I'm the original, exceptional, in the Ori, not like Zook, he's just copying my moves. <laughs> if you like those moves, pick the OG grooves. DK West is your man, others they just stand. Hey West, you know Zook still looks up to you. Hey, don't tell him that. You're his brother, not from another mother, and you're not a father? You're a real deal, you got such a big following, and this power is building. It's a threat to the political system. 
system of Vinyl City. This is important. The role is true. Rise up to the occasion and be a real inspiration. Yes, I've done great things, but I'm not really convinced that Zook really respects what I do. Zook's probably out to get me, to diss me, to mock me, to cut me. Zook can't stand watching me succeed. He wants all the spotlight on him. Oh, poor Zook. Silly West, you know Zook's following your footsteps, every move, every groove, you've been inspiring Zook. Our rebellion, Zook's been emulating your success. We're trying to bring back rock to the city and fight the EDM empire. Zook's been doing great things, I can see it myself, but you can't do a history of his mean vibes to me. I've been disappointed, down and out, my own brother ought to get me. Zook's been forever not liking me. So how can I forgive? How can I move on? You've probably never changed, anyhow, anyway. Wes, you gotta know, Zook was only doing his thing. He wasn't doing anything like scheming. So don't think badly or let your mind go madly in the wrong direction with too much introspection. Instead, reframe your mind, open up your thoughts, tighten up your heart. You gotta know your brother looks up to you. He only wants the best to learn from the best, the real deal, the role model, the one and only Ryan Master, the often imitated, never replicated DK West. Oh, no, 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 no. Just wait, are you making this up? You're just creating stories that tell of my real glory? You're making me wonder, are you telling the truth? Well, I want to talk with you. I want to ask him things. I'm not really convinced whether that's really how your heart sinks. Or you play me, little brother. You're taunting me. Oh, Jagger Katawa, I have a feeling you've got things hidden. All your motives got my mind. But... I gotta admit, pride got a hold on me. When I outdid you, West, college was when I was the best. But you gotta know any human would feel the same. And like Mayday said, I still look up to you, bro. You built your career from scratch and made it higher and higher until NSR had to step in and kill that blazing fire. They knew you were dangerous. High risk, high energy, highly influential. DK West, simply the best from the bottom to the top of the game. I created the ruckus. A whole crazy ride that really built up my pride. I never wanted to influence the politics of the city. I just wanted to make music, rhymes, grooves, yeah, hit it. And so I left it all behind. Final city, bye bye, adios, la matinga. But yeah, Zoo, I see you. You progress from the blur, from the clueless of the clueless, to a leader, to a man, to the leader of the rebellion. And let me say, hey, my brother, that makes me proud inside. DK West, your brother. West, what you did for the city, even if unintentional, hit all the main points, we really hit national. Was awesome, fully truesome, and despite the powers that be, NSOS would not believe the crazy grip on the city was shaken to the core. The great DK West managed to shake it. The political system, we need to break it. This is what I'm trying to do now. Dasu, oh. congrats, you the man. You can start the city just like I did. There's no reason it can't be done more. If something's to be done, it can be done, 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 done. But you know, Zoo, you told me right in my face. You put me in my place. You said I wasn't a brother, and that truly bothered me. Ewa, I'm not your bro. Ewa, really, Zoo, bro? I was dumb, I was stupid, I was foolish, I was blinded. I'm sorry for saying something so dumb, stupid, foolish. I didn't mean to be mean. I mean, you know what I mean. And despite all our bickering, our fighting, our disagreeing, DK West, you will always be Ewa, my brother, my family, my man. DK West, you will always be my brother, my family, my man, Ewa. Kau betul ikhlas ke, bro? Kau masih respect ke aku? <sighs> yeah. You know I joined the music scene because of you, right? Oh, jadi... I... Macam uh, kalau... How about a truce? Sorry, bro. Kadang-kadang, aku... Yeah, aku pun, bro. <coughs> well... <sighs> Tiba lah masa aku berada. Huh? Leaving already? Ya. Yeah. Hilang komentari senja. Why don't you join us? We can take down NSR together. Kau pergilah. Selamatkan Vinyl City. Aku kena bertapa sekejap. Jumpa lain kali. Hari Zook. Oh. Okay. Will you remember to reply my messages this time? Yeah. 
aku balas. Lagipun, sekarang aku ada benda ni untuk ingatkan ku tiap hari. <laughs> you too, Missy. Mari kita jumpa lagi next time. West! Out! Bye, West! That was some legit rapping skills you got there, May. You're welcome, buddy. Yo! Ewa! <sighs> nice little send-off. So, yeah, the rap battles were... Interesting to say the least. I mean, they were... I don't think they were pretty nice. They were hard. <laughs> if you want, seriously, if you want, I don't know how you can get through this undamaged. You gotta have like the shawing on or something. <laughs> All right. Um, last ultimate duet, rock and rodeo, literally just a uh, shockwave, I guess, of rock stuff. So, yeah. Uh, how much time do we have? Fifty minutes. Okay, I think this is a good stopping point. So yeah, next time we'll go over. Next time we'll go over Eve and uh, Tatiana's uh, collectibles. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go over Eve and Tatiana's collectibles. Then we're gonna go to the finale. So yeah, how much do we have? Nine hundred seven. Okay. Uh, all right. I'll just do Eve's again and get this, and then we'll pretty much be set. I mean, I might play through this again, get a little more upgrades, but yeah. All in all, I think all we need is just level 3 transformations just for the heck of it, and then, yeah. So, I guess with that being said, I'll see you all next time.